Hello, and welcome to the Rolling Cloud Academy. I am Nutrix, the synth guy, and today we will learn how to find, preview, and save sound in Xenology Pro. If you don't have Xenology Pro installed, go back to the earlier videos where I explain how to install Xenology Pro and model expansions. So to have access to Xenology, you need to open it in your favorite DAW. In my case, I'm gonna drop it into an empty space in Live. We will be looking into previewing sounds, finding sound, and saving sounds. So for previewing sounds, you have the name here. If you click on it, you have a list appearing of the whole browser window. Uh, the way it works, you have on the side the list of different banks that can come with it or you can buy. In my case, I've got the ultimate installed on this machine. I have every bank compatible with Xenology here, plus even my own personal user banks at the bottom here. So you can just click on certain bank uh, and what you're going to have, the list here in the middle will change. It will show you only this. So this is a filter, basically. If you see factory presets, these are the factory presets that comes with the device when you buy it. If you say stage piano, this is a bank that you can buy and then you've got only these listed here and then you click on it. You can play them right away. Okay, again, you click another one. If you don't have a keyboard attached to the, your software, you can have the keys on screen and have an idea of how it sounds. If you have, let's say, vintage keys here and you like this, but you're not, this is not the sound you want and you're looking for a specific type of sound, the other side is basically the categories. And you can say, well, I have, I want to have a uh, bell. I'm going to give you a list of these four sounds, but remember, where you're still in vintage keys, so it's only listing the bank vintage keys, plus within that, the categories bell, that's it. You can also have stars on the one you prefer, your favorite, and then you could also look at finding your favorite just by clicking here and listing them from, let's say, top to bottom, your most favorite to the least uh, favorite, okay? So that's one way. And if you want to get rid of it, you need uh, either you click on it again or you go click all. OK, so if you want to go through all the banks and you're looking, let's say all here, I've got all the banks and I'm looking for, I don't know, solo brass. And it's going to give you solo brass. But if you look at banks, you're going between different types of banks here. OK, essential here. <laughs> Okay, so that's how you can preview this. You can actually find your sound with this. You can play them. So you like this sound. You say, I select this one. Perfect, you have it. Now, you wanna create a, your own bank or you wanna modify this. You modify the cutoff, the resonance, the attack. You make it a little bit you want. If you have the full version of uh, Pro, you click on edit. You can, let's say, edit the pitch envelope just to give an example of something we can change. You change it and say, okay, I want to save it. So you're going to, you're going to press on right, and it's going to open another window, which is the manager of your bank. So now you only see the list of banks, which are your user banks. You can create a new one. So I'm going to say, uh, my best, click here, my best choices, okay? enter and then you can say i want to write trumpet echo which is at the top here you click on which one you want to save in so i want this one and then write you want to change the name well it's going to be uh let's say version two and enter so now you save trumpet echo two when you go on the eye at the bottom left you've got all the keyboard shortcuts to go around using this window. So Command R for new bank, delete bank, import bank from file. I'm gonna close this after that. Close this, go back to the normal. Let's say I'm, I choose another one. Let's try uh, Scent Lead here. Okay, try this. Okay, so this one I'm gonna save it. So if you wanna save it again, 
you need to load it, you need to write, say I'm gonna say my best choice is gonna be the second one here, I'm gonna write follow me, it's gonna be follow me two again, because it's my version. And then you see, it's a synth lead, it's on Z core for Zen core. One thing also you wanna know about, if we close this, let's go back to this window. We talked about the banks, we talked about the categories. There's something here, the model. The model is the type of engine you're using right now. You have the Z core, which is a Zen core um, synthesis, which is the same one you find in the MC101 and the MC707. You have the Jupiter 8, JX8P, the Juno 106, and the SH101. These are model expansions. So they're not the normal Zen core, if you want. They're specific models that are aimed to uh, simulate or replicate these specific classic synthesizers from Roland. So Jupiter 8, and we're in the synth leads. So again, Jupiter 8, you've got this time in the model column, you see Jupiter 8. You have synth lead, so the category is listed to that, and of course you've got the bank coming from the Jupiter 8. So if I click on one, now, if I go edit, if I wanna edit this, the window is totally different now. It doesn't look like Synology Pro, it looks like a Jupiter 8 model expansion. In another video, I will do a tour of this. But for now, again, if you wanna write it, you write, you go my best choices, you click on a memory space you want to record, you go right, let's say two again, just to see if it's a different one, record this, and then you see that now in the model column, Jupiter 8 is there. So this one is not a Zen core, it's a model expansion. With the import and export, you can exchange patches and banks between Xenology Pro to another computer using also Xenology or to a Roland hardware supporting Zencore or model expansions. Thanks for watching. Put the comments below.